I've been an MSA director for about uh, 15 years. I've been a director since 1995. I think since 73, 74, maybe 75, somewhere along that here. Uh, well, it, it, it goes back to growing up fly fishing with my dad. And uh, we fished mostly on the Tobik River. And the salmon have disappeared there due to power dams. And, and then I started fishing on the Nashwalk River after I moved to Fredericton. And now there aren't any salmon on the Nashwalk River or the St. John River. And uh, so I think it's just so important that we protect the rivers that we have left. It's just, uh, I think we're so fortunate to live in New Brunswick. You know, the, the woods, the wilderness is not very far from your door. And uh, to get out and enjoy it, uh, whether it's on snowshoes in the winter or salmon fishing in the summer, I think uh, New Brunswick is a very special place. And, and the Miramichi with its huge wilderness areas is incredibly special. And it's just so important to protect it. Well, look, I grew up in the Miramichi. I've always fished salmon. Uh, I love the river. And I ended up uh, managing a fishing camp on the Miramichi, and it was a natural progression to be part of the uh, Salmon Association and, and uh, trying to conserve and rebuild and maintain the salmon stocks. Well, I grew up on the river. I salmon fished, I guided, and I ran fishing camps. And uh, when fish were getting scarce, I wanted to know why. And I used to, I was a member of the association and I'd ask questions at, at the meetings. And then they decided they should have me on the board. <laughs> if I'd have kept my mouth shut, I wouldn't have had to on that. <laughs> it all been very interesting and I met a lot of great people and enjoyed that part of it. Well, I chair the communications committee. Uh, I got involved with that because my background is information technology. And so I saw great opportunities for MSA to have a website and social media and do all kinds of things, put the videos up and, and reach out to more and more and more people. So uh, that's why I got involved in the first place is just to uh, use some of the things that I worked at uh, now that I'm in retirement, you know, use some of that, those skills to help the organization. Uh, I also, the committee, I'm learning about how many different communications channels we have. We have so many communications channels from, you know, our annual report to our emails to our you know, events. We have all these different ways and it's, yeah. it's uh, exciting to think of how can we change those keep up with the technology, what can we do different that wasn't even possible two years ago? How can we keep up with the modern world? How can we get, make contact with younger people and get them involved in the outdoors? Because that's the future, right? If, if, if everybody who goes fishing is my age, there's not going to be fishermen around for a long time. But how do you get the kids involved, their parents involved? No, I'm chairman of the Conservation Planning Committee, have been for a number of years, so we have a very active and uh, quite a large committee of some of our uh, directors from the U.S. are on my committee and no, we uh, were very active in the last uh, annual meeting we were able to get a a, uh, a uh, policy or a statement in place to do with climate change so I think I had almost everything there was I, I was Vice Chairman, I was Chairman, I was uh, some of the committees I chaired and many of the committees I've been on. I, 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 th I think my favorite part of being a director is feeling you're doing something to improve our planet just a little bit. There's, you know, they say there are two buckets in your life. There are things you can do nothing about, 
and there are things you can do something about. So I feel that, you know, what can I do about a war or hunger or, well, maybe by being on the board of the Salmon Association, I can do something about the environment, something about protecting the salmon and the whole watershed. And it's something I can get my hands on is something local and I can be involved in the planning and the decision making and working to get others on board. So it, it just gives you a good feeling at the end of the day that maybe you are contributing something to the quality of life. Uh, I think being on the board just gives me so many opportunities to get involved and to, and to, uh, to help out. Oh, I think the most is, uh, is uh, working with people, the Miramichi people. Everybody's working to try and help the river, help the salmon, and that's the goal we have, and have set for us. So, well, getting to know the people, both in in government when we had government involved, and and getting to know the people at camps and the things that they've had me do, like uh, uh, teaching first cast and doing all those kinds of things that helps young people.